Good morning. So today our webinar is on the gateway pendant. Um, pretty fantastic, phenomenal shifting tool. Um, before we get into the, the creation and the history of the gateway pendant and, and some of the uses, I'd just like to ask you guys to step into this field and into the heart with me. So as usual, you can close your eyes if you wish and just picture in your heart, imagining your heart and your light within the heart. Energy of the earth, that unconditional healing, loving energy, that light of mother earth, breathing that up right into the heart. So you are grounded and connected with Gaia. And next we connect with source, soul, creator, God, however you see and say that, and breathe in that energy right into the heart. And the third breath, breathing in from both the earth and from source, breathing those right together with you within the heart and just becoming that column of light in the heart, grounded and connected. All right, so the gateway pendant. It all started with the regeneration ring, which was one that um, the gals at uh, Dancing with Water, the new science of water, uh, these gals, MJ and Melanie, those two and Slim Sperling and one of his uh, original co-creators, Bill Reed, those two, and then my sister Brenda and I all co-created this regeneration ring together. Such a higher reaching ring. It was coming from those fields that Brenda was playing in. Um, we're kind of seeing it as that universal you. It is just another step up in the integration of our soul's light in a tangible way. So with that regeneration ring, um, the, the gals at Dancing with Water, um, MJ and Melanie, they put together the harmonic creation field trio, which is the three rings together, the regeneration ring, the golden fire, and they wanted to use the 333 megahertz or the earth resonance ring, which you can also use the harmony um, for that third ring. We use the earth resonance or the 333 megahertz ring. With, um, with these three rings together, the harmonic creation field trio, we've done a, um, a webinar on the harmonic creation field trio for the water rings. Now, they're pretty phenomenal in that they hold you in a space to where it's bringing in more light into the physical. And as it's doing that, it is helping to release the things in the physical, the energetics of things that no longer serve, whether it's emotions, um, drama, traumas, past life stuff, whatever, you know, within the DNA, family lineage, all that stuff. Within our physical cells, it is helping to release that as we bring in more light within our physical cells as well. So with the harmonic creation field trio, we decided to make a pendant. Um, and we call it the gateway pendant because it is the gateway to the soul. Um, really, we're seeing that when, when you wear this pendant, we're seeing that it is bringing in more of our light than what we've ever carried in incarnation before. Um, it it's really is huge. I mean, we're doing this anyway, but these tools just assist us to go faster. Um, so with the gateway pendant, when you're wearing it, um, you know, I, I think one of the first sentences that it says on the description is it kicks your ass. Well, <laughs> that is true. And that was just one of the things that we said about it. And um, just for the fact that in the beginning, before we had these fine tuned and we really understood what was going on, they were tough. I mean, um, we, we've had some pretty rough experiences with these guys before we fine tuned them. So basically the fine tuning was to bring things through with more grace and ease and also uh, to help us release the things more. So as is bringing in those points of light, now, if you think about how a past life can affect you, 
and that every lifetime um, you have some kind of a drama trauma that reoccurs with the past life. Um, like let's say my niece, my niece, she died at the age of 23 every lifetime. We almost lost her this lifetime at the age of 23 um, until we could clear that that trauma that was reoccurring. Um, and I never really put much heat in the whole past life thing, you know, affecting us until that time when we were actually dealing with it. Um, so then you think about wearing the gateway pendant and bringing in all those trillion points of light of us throughout the known universe, all that we are, and bringing in all of those lights and incorporating them within the physical. That is where in the beginning we had to smooth things out a little bit so that we weren't bringing in all those drama traumas. So we were bringing in and integrating the highest aspects of our light throughout its entirety. So when you're wearing the gateway pendant now, it is more integrating of all of that light. But as it does, again, as it's going through and basically cleaning up everything on the physical, um, all the energetics that are anchored into the physical cells, that's when we're doing the release work. So we always talk about how to utilize the gateway pendant for doing the release work because as it holds that field for us to bring in all that light, it also holds the space for us to release what no longer serves us. And it's very simple and easy. Um, the simpler any of this work is, the better. And just take a second to say hello to everybody. Um, Burlington, Massachusetts, Germany, Belgium, Canada, Saudi Arabia, fantastic. I appreciate you guys all being here at this time of day for you. Um, so utilizing the gateway pendant for the release work, basically when you are wearing the pendant, it's simply just keeping an eye on your, your thoughts, um, things that come up, your reactions. So we're looking for programs, beliefs, emotions, reactions, um, reoccurring thoughts of situations, things like that, that will come up and they'll surface. And instead of mulling them over or pushing them down or having to analyze them, anything like that, we want to simply recognize them and basically giving them thanks, taking the breath and letting them go. That's as simple as that. Because when you're wearing the gateway pendant, it is going to allow all that stuff to surface. Things that we don't have to even know about. And it can be just a feeling, a nudge, an emotion, whatever. I mean, we don't have to know what this is because everything is energy. We're just going to release, allow it to transform within that field. So the simpler, the better, like I say, for when you are witnessing these things for release. So, but yet, if you need a ceremony, like, like our mom, we told our mom to use the gateway pendant when you're wearing it and something comes up and you recognize it to hold this up and just blow through it. If you need something like that, that's kind of, um, you know, ceremonial style, something for, for you to grasp that you're doing a release in that way, that's a fantastic way to release something that it just keeps coming up. But otherwise, once, once it comes up, once you recognize it, you give the thanks for it, you release it, so we're just releasing with gratitude because whatever comes up serve a purpose. It helps us with our soul growth and learning, but we're ready to integrate that soul growth and learning and not have to integrate or rehash the whole issue. So we're just being thankful for it and releasing. Simple as that. So, and hello from Portugal. Fantastic, you guys. Um, so yeah, the, the gateway pendant, it really is super and simple and easy to use. It's just knowing that you have to do that release work. So there's a lot more written, written on the website about the gateway pendant, such as the activations that take place with this. Now, we're seeing that as we are bringing in all of that light, and it's gonna be different for everybody on the timing wise, but as we are bringing in that light, we're doing the release work. Um, once we begin to integrate enough of that of who we are, then we start to create this field. Um, 
there's this field that is held, I should say, there's this field that is held when we're within this space of wearing the gateway pendant that houses our miscreations through lifetimes. Now, miscreations, it was the best word that we could come up with. Basically, it is things that we created through lifetimes that no longer serve us. Um, things that we can just let go of. Uh, they were, you know, creations from, you know, either um, a mental react or a emotional reaction, um, things like that through lifetimes that basically we created these situations, these energies, everything else. And they're not serving our soul growth learning. They're just there. They can just be released. So part of the process of after you've been integrating your light with the gateway pendant is the clearing of this field of miscreations and how that happens is pretty phenomenal it can happen automatically or we can also walk through the the whole meditation of activating the heart as a sun activating every cell as a sun and then once you have that activation going and you are an emitter of light then we open up this little space within the universe. It's just like a little tear within the universe. It's just another space where those miscreations for you are held. We shine our light in there. And of course, when you shine your light, your divine awareness into anything that is dense, dark energy, because everything is energy, everything is divine. When we shine that light in there, it just clears it. It transforms everything. So it clears that space of miscreations, all those miscreations from lifetimes, and then that space closes up. Simple, easy, because it happens automatically along the way. That's just part of what is programmed into the gateway pendant for your soul to just do this automatically when the time is right. But we can certainly go through that meditation. Um, and this meditation is also on the gateway pendant product page now and i'm going to look at my phone here because on the product page too um, there's a release technique that my sister brenda brenda schnoes and the elders three uh, they channel just a simple release technique um, and part of that is just the three breaths going into the heart space um, and just basically seeing these things as energies and releasing them she explains it very well on the product page um, where the elders three talk about release techniques so please do check that out and then it'll go into um, the universal the universal you sun activation and so we'll go through the sun activation real quick here too um, <clears throat> and with the sun activation and we'll do that here in a couple minutes um, We'll, we'll do some more questions here right now before we go into the meditation space. So we'll kind of save the meditation towards the end of the, the, end of the webinar here. Um, so one of the questions, and yeah, please do start asking questions, you guys. And we'll cover questions and answers first. And then we'll do the meditation towards the end here. Uh, so let's see, we have a question. Would you recommend that one should wear the pendant all the time or only specifically when something comes up into our field? I would wear the pendant all the time. Um, and sleep with it underneath the pillow because the the more that we can be within this field and the quicker that we can just bring in all the integration of the light that we are as well as bringing through all the clearing work plus it is working on our physical and that's part of um, these newer tools like with with the gateway pendant and beyond is that we're working with our physical body as well by bringing in our light. So these are helping to interface, to, to open things up, to clear things, to where we can bring in more light into our physical cells, to where our physical body can house it. So the more you do wear it, the better. Um, now the question, where do you prefer to wear the gateway pendant? So we do, they do come with an adjustable lanyard. So I find that wearing it over the chest, over the heart chakra, high heart, um, anywhere on the chest is the preferred place. And that's kind of with all of our tools is that they're preferred to wear near that physical heart where our light is. 
because that's just where we are doing all the work and interacting with our light that is within the heart. Doesn't mean you have to wear it on your chest, you know, near the heart. You can carry the gateway pendant in your pocket even. And we'll talk a little bit more about um, the new product we have which is the gateway tab for phones, electrical panels, things like that, because they're gonna create a field. And when you're within that field, it's gonna do the same thing as well. So again, can wear it over the heart, that's the preferred method, but you can certainly have it anywhere within your field. Um, let's see, yep, and somebody says, uh, the pendant's always on me during the day. Um, does this work past and present to clear future for more light body activations? So the question is basically asking about if the gateway pennant is working on both past and future lives. And yes. So the whole concept of bringing in our soul light is that our soul light is, is, is here throughout all time, space, dimensions, realities, incarnations, past, present, future. So basically, if you can just imagine your soul, and your soul within this universe is simply a connector point, an interface between source creation and all lives that you are, everything that you are, all incarnations here, all incarnations anywhere within this universe. That is part of that working with the universal you is basically it is simply a part of your soul that is kind of that connector point to everything that you are within this universe. And so that does transcend time. Um, you know, it's been an interesting concept. Some of the work that we've been doing recently is basically as we change this right here and now, we affect both past and future. Obviously, we can connect that cognitively, that anything we do right now affects the future, but also it affects the past um, because it, it's a quantum field and we're doing work on a soul level. Um, so let's see, other timelines too or just this timeline? Yep, all timelines. And, and that's it too, all timelines, all realities. Um, this this affects because basically it is every place where our light is so any place that you exist as a soul as a soul spark is the work that we're doing that's the work that we're bringing in that's work that we're integrating um let's see and then a question is it safe to wear copper products on your skin over long longer periods yes so copper is our body needs copper. That is one of the elements that our physical body needs. And our skin is a smart organ. So our skin will absorb as much copper as we need. When you get that, for the majority of people, there's a very small percentage of people who have some kind of a chemical reaction, pH, um, not sure what that is, but there's a very small percentage of people who have a reaction with copper that they just touch it and it instantly patinas. Um, but for the majority of people, like 97% is my guess of the people that wear copper, their skin is going to absorb only the amount of copper that they need. And then their skin gets that green, that sloughing of that green patina onto your skin. That's when your skin stops absorbing copper. So your skin is working with your body and it knows how much copper to absorb. So usually for most people as well, when you start to get that green patina on your skin, it is usually because of stress or dehydration that your skin says, nope, we're not going to process any more copper in the body right now because of stress or dehydration. So you take a step back, drink a bunch of water, wash your wrist off and all of a sudden you're not having that green patina anymore because your body is reabsorbing that is, is absorbing that copper now. Um, so yeah, wearing copper on the skin is really a fantastic way to do it. Um, you know, the, the Ayurvedic stuff where you drink in a copper vessel or you put a copper ring in your water, 
Um, unless you're muscle testing every day, just to make sure that you're not orally ingesting too much copper, because that's the only way we can get too much copper into our body is through oral ingestion. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So let's see if there is anything else that we need to cover on the gateway pendant and appreciate your guys' questions. Um, I was just going to look through really quick on the website here just to see if there's anything we've missed besides the sun activation, which again, we'll just do that one at the end. Um, so again, with the gateway pendant, the three rings are in here. The outer one is the golden fire. That is actually the Wi-Fi ring, interchangeable. That is the Wi-Fi ring, the golden fire on the outside. And next is the regeneration ring right in the center or right in the middle. And in the very center of the ring is the earth resonance or 333 megahertz ring. And that is what makes up the harmonic creation field trio uh, for our water sets, for our water rings. And these rings are, they are brazed together. So they are one unit. And then we just put the adjustable leather cord on there. So that is the, the gateway pendant on the physical. Um, now I mentioned that we were going to um, uh, talk about another tool, which is this guy. This is our newest creation, which will be released here at the end of the day. Um, this is the gateway tab. Now, the gateway tab We'll probably do a webinar on it, but just to say that it is doing the exact same thing as wearing a pendant when it's in your field, you have that, that energetics within the field, and actually your phone will hold the field to actually amplify that energetics, so it just sits there and radiates. Um, it doesn't radiate out in a huge space, so you still need to have your phone on your person to be getting the benefits of the gateway pendant. And just like using any of the golden fire rings on your phone, it is going to transform the energetics into being something that is healthful and beneficial. So basically with this, it's like a glorified cell phone tab that is bringing through the energetics of the gateway. But what I really love about these is, is that any interactions that you have with this device, you are going to be bringing through the energetics of the gateway, whether it's a simple phone conversation and email, or whether you are composing music or writing a novel, the energetics will come through whatever you do as you are interfacing with this. Um, pretty fantastic thing. Um, let's see. And new to the channel, can you tell me what are some of your best products for EMF sensitivity? Yeah, any of the golden fire tools for um, EMF sensitivity. And now the gateway pendant, again, it has what we call the Wi-Fi ring, this golden fire ring on the outside. So as long as you have that golden fire ring within your field, it is going to be doing the work for EMF sensitivity. Same with it being on your phone. So this is really a great way to go because you, know, you get the energetics of the gateway pendant, the benefits of everything that the gateway pendant has, plus it is transforming your phone. Um, question, how come these have different sizes? Um, if I'm catching your question right, how come these have different sizes? They're each cubit measure. Um, our tools are based on cubit measures. We cut everything to the hundred, the hundreds of a millimeter within the studio. And so when we have the twisted wire, we cut it to that hundredth of a millimeter. And then we bring the ends back together so that it is creating a counter rotating vortex pow powered by piezoelectric um, energetics. And then the very specific measurement is the antenna um, that brings in that tensor field connects to the creations that we create um, on the higher dimensional plane. So these are piezoelectric powered antennas that connect to higher dimensional tools. So each measurement is a different cubit. So the 333 is a cubit measure. The regeneration ring is a specific cubit measure and the golden fire is a specific cubit measure. So those three just happen to nest well together. Um, and again, when we co-created the harmonic creation field trio, it, 
it can be in various fractions of sizes. So the harmonic creation field trio, this will be the smallest one we create. Then we have a water ring size and a larger water ring size. And then we create the great big hoops that we use. And in the bigger hoops, we use a harmony ring instead of the earth resonance ring. They're interchangeable within that trio. Um, and then if I didn't answer your question completely, please do, please do ask. Uh, because intent is so important, if my intent is to do my healing work on a client, I was thinking of visualizing them in the center of the gateway. Have you experienced this to help them? Yes. When, when the Harmonic Creation Field Trio first came out, my sister Brenda and I were playing a lot with visualizing that field. Um, if you actually go to the webinar for the Harmonic Creation Field Trio, it will walk you through a process of where we visualize standing within this column of these three rings or visualize somebody else standing within that column after you've done it, when you're in the heart space, when you're in that space. Then you can invite a person in, so you're inviting them in on a soul level and just witness them standing within this column and just holding the space. And the thing is, is when you are doing the work with somebody else, you have to be in that heart space. You have to be non-judgmental. You're not intending. So that's it, is your intentions. It's already a soft intention that you are wanting to give them assistance by asking them to stand in there. But we don't want to have any kind of a hard intention whatsoever. We don't want to be like, okay, I want to fix you. I want to heal you. I want to, you know, do this or that for you because then that collapses the field and nothing happens. Stay in the heart space, simply offer them this space. And then it is between their soul and them what occurs. We don't want to step anywhere in between there. We don't want to step between the soul and the human. We want to only hold the space for whatever the soul sees in the highest and best to occur with that person. But yes, please do utilize this field um, to work with people and situations. Fantastic thing. Again, just have to stay in the heart. Um, what about putting the infinity over the center to add a heart boost? Yeah, you can totally add the infinity with this guy too. Um, because yes, the infinity is one the infinity like this guy the infinity is one that will connect into the heart with whatever with whatever tool you're wearing whether it's a crystal another ring so yes you can totally put the infinity with this guy and it will add that extra boost um so that's a fantastic question definitely use it with an infinity if you have one um let's see oh and the question was that the rings on the phone different sizes they are actually the same gateway pendant rings, but they have been slightly flattened. So these guys are the exact same rings. Um, they look a lot different after they've had a little bit of a flatness to them. And so we put a little bit of a flatness, one, just so that you're not catching as much. And two, when you start to flatten a tensor ring out, Instead of a column, it is creating a little bit more of a sheet of energetics. Um, let's see. Right now, I understand you said you reconnective healing, and that's how it's done. Um, so when we were answering the question about having the person standing in here, um, somebody just commented that's how they do the reconnective healing. So good stuff. Yeah. And, and that's the beautiful thing is that you can utilize this with so many modalities. Um, you can just bring it in and it harmonizes, synergizes with other modalities that you do. Um, super, super fantastic tools in that way. The tensor rings are, um, once the rings have been put on a device, like a phone, can they be later removed to another phone? That's a good question. Now, like with our cell phone tabs, we have a replaceable peely back sticker that we send to you. Um, with these guys, we're gonna do the same thing, that at any time in the future that you need to peel this off and you need to stick it onto a new phone or a new phone case, we will certainly send you a new sticky back for it. You just 
email us, call us, and we'll mail you out one for free. So, all right, let me go over here to the question side too. Can you show us the technique to go into the heart space? Certainly. Um, here in just a moment, as soon as we're done answering questions, we'll go through the whole process of going into the heart space and doing the sun activation within the heart and the cells to clear that field of miscreations. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you guys have any more questions, we'll cover those before we go on to the meditation because otherwise after we do the meditation, we'll probably just sign off right after there. So does anybody have any more questions? Are these flattened rings hammered? I heard it increases the piezoelectric effect on the person, uh, creates the piezoelectric effect. So yes, we do hammer, well, actually we hammer all of our rings, um, every ring that we create. Now something that in the very beginning, Slim Sperling always appeared to us and he was sitting there with a hammer and we could not figure out why he was sitting there with a hammer all the time. And so basically when you create a ring and you, because the, the crystal structure within the ring is already aligned when they create the wire. So it aligns the crystalline structure in a one way flow of energetics. When you hit that with a torch, with the oxygen acetylene torch, it scatters the crystal structure within that wire. So the only way to, and then that makes the wire softer. We found that the only way to harden copper is through vibration. And so we use wooden mallets to hammer every ring that we create, as well as rubber mallets, just depending on the ring. Um, and so every ring gets hammered after it's been welded to realign the crystal structure. Because it's been interesting. We find that um, I have rings from like 10 years ago that they used to be soft where they were welded and now over time of that because of that piezoelectric flow through them that they've actually became harder again because it has realigned the crystal structure so we just hammer it to bring that um to to increase that alignment of the crystal structure within them um, so if you flatten a ring I can't really say what all that is doing as far as um, to answer the question, does it create increase the piezoelectric effect? It does only where it's welded, but I'm not sure how it affects the entire ring when it's flattened. Um, another question, because the Schumann resonance is raising daily, also the veil becoming thinner, is Slim channeling new 5D data for us to integrate easier? So Slim has, Slim basically is assisting people in the creation of the tools. Now, we've been working with other beings and our souls on doing all that higher, higher work of like integrating the soul more. Um, Slim's forte, so just think of Slim as a master builder. And that that is where the realm is that he works in is helping people create these tools. Um, so we look towards like talk, a master healer, of the blues. We work with him on bringing through other healing energies. Um, we work with masters of different things um, to bring in this higher new 5D data, as as you mentioned here. Um, but Slim is very much still a part of that. I mean, Slim's a part of the tools, as is our Arthuric Guardian Heimdall, um, as well as our souls, as well as many of our soul aspects and other beings who have stepped in to assist us and humanity um, and the Earth and this galaxy and this universe. So we work with so many different beings um, to help hold that space for us to go higher. Um, so, but, but Slim very much is, is a part of all of that. Um, all right. And I'll just give us another moment here for any other questions that uh, you guys may have. 
I was trying to think if I have anything else to to mention about this. Um, gateway pendant again, you can use it with water. If you you know if you don't wear it at night, maybe sit your glass of water on it. So that way, when you drink that water in the morning, it has everything that. And again, I would sure ask you to go through and look at the Harmonic Creation Field Trio webinar because what that's doing with water um, is pretty phenomenal. So, you know, you can use the gateway pendant by your bedside, put your water on it at night, or sit this on top of your container, however. Um, let's see. And then another question I have questions on your products that will purchase. Can I connect with you by phone? Yes. Um, you, if you go to the website, our, our studio number is, and because we have some pretty knowledgeable staff at the studio, Mary is one of them that's always there that answers the phone. Um, Mary's been with us since the very beginning. Um, and so her and her husband actually attuned me to a Reiki master when I first started out energetics. So Mary is the one who usually answers the phone over at the studio. And the number at Twisted Sage is 605-833-3333. So you can certainly connect there by phone. Um, if there's any other questions that she can't answer, she'll always refer you to me. Otherwise, you can always catch me on email is the best way to get a hold of me. Um, my email is either twistedsage at hotmail.com or info at twistedsage.com. So, um, yeah. Like I say, if Mary can't help you out, I'm always happy to help. So, um, yeah, please do please do email, phone call for questions. We're we're happy to help because I know the product list is huge and confusing. That's why we are downsizing on our amount of products because we have so many cool new things coming out. Hopefully, the Taurus pendant will be coming out soon. We'll have um, more silver coming out. So, anyway. All right, so I suppose we're going to um, end our space for questions. And again, if you have questions, please do just get a hold of us. And we're just going to go on to the the meditation, the sun meditation. So, um, if you can picture yourself, so we're going to do an imagination. Um, <clears throat> We're going to use our imaginations while we're in the heart space. So the energy work, the consciousness work that we do is nothing more than an imagination, a soft intention, and being in the heart space. Because when we do energy work and we use our imagination, visualization, we are powered by our light when we're within the heart. If we are here and we try to do this work, we're just spinning our wheels, a hamster wheel. We're not doing anything. We can still create from here because this is the way we've created the world already is from here. And when our consciousness is here, instead of our consciousness being in the heart, we are affected by everything here. Our programs, our beliefs, our emotions, our necessity, our fear, everything is here. So when we move to the heart with our consciousness, go into the sacred space of the heart, that is where we do the real work and that is where we see the magic and miracles take place. So we're gonna go in the heart space and then we're going to imagine ourselves being in the field of the gateway pendant. And then we're going to do the activation, the sun activation of the heart, of the cells, will hold space for you and will open up that field of miscreations and allow you to shine that light into that field. And then we'll close it up and that'll be that. So simple, easy work. It really, truly is. All right. So go into the heart space. Go into the heart space does not have to be complicated. You can do it in one breath. You can just take that breath in release and just move right to the heart. It's an exercise and you may need, especially if you are very much in the head, you may need a little bit more of a mental exercise 
to get you into the heart space. So that's why we do the three breaths. So we'll do the Trinity breath, the three breaths to go into the heart. And it's easier if you close your eyes, but however you wish. <clears throat> All right, so we just visualize our heart, our soul's fire, our light within the heart. We can send that light right down into the earth and connect to that crystal sun of the earth. Pardon me, just one moment. <clears throat> Need to get the frog out of my throat before I, before I cough later in the program here. All right, we're going back to the heart finding our light within the heart and we're going to breathe up that energy of the earth that crystal sun the light of the earth right up into the heart so then we are grounded connected with the earth then next we breathe in that energy of source soul creation from all around us from above however you see it breathe in that energy into the heart and then the third breath, breathing in from both earth and sky, bringing both energies together, bringing those together with you within the heart. So then I always see it as we have our light within the heart that is grounded and connected into the earth, that is connected in the source, soul, creator, God. So we are a column of light in the heart space. Now imagine that you are within these three rings, this gateway pendant, the harmonic creation field trio. They create a column of light. Just imagine yourself standing within that column of light. As you do, it's bringing in all that light that you are and it's clearing all the dense energies from your physical cells. And you're just turning into a light body, just a bright light. Now we're going to go right to the heart and imagine your heart turning into a sun, into a giant sun. And that sun is you as a creator of an entire universe. Your heart is that central sun. Now expand that sun out and encompass everything that you are. As that sun goes through your physical body, every one of your cells ignites as a sun as well. Each of your cells is its own little central sun. Each of them ignites. Now, as you are that radiant light emitting being that you are, off to your side, we're going to open up this space, just this little space within the universe. We're going to open that up. And we're going to have you shine your light into that space. Just shine that light that you are, that great sun of the heart. And just shine it into that field of miscreations. From you through lifetimes. And you don't step into it. You just simply shine your light into it. Awesome. Now we're going to seal that up. The work happens automatically. We seal that space up. You just come right back to yourself with your heart as that giant sun. Every cell is the sun. And if you do the sun activation, any time you need for clearing of you, your field, of working on things in the physical. Do it before you go to bed at night. Do it when you wake up in the morning. 
become that emitter of light that you are, that we are becoming, and that we are. Awesome. Thank you all, and you're welcome to stay in that space as long as you wish. And we'll see you next time. Namaste. In a cash.